In Path of Exile Scourge, there's been kind of a problem that a lot of people have been running into, and that is that they are dying. Repeatedly. Now, if you play softcore, this is probably nothing new. The best defensive layer for a softcore build is obviously six portals. However, in the new realm of Scourge, it actually does pay a little bit to be able to survive. Gone are the days of being able to farm efficiently without having at least a little bit invested into defenses. Now, in this patch, we've gotten two new ways that you can actually scale your defenses. Armor and evasion are actually good now. And what's the best way to scale these modifiers? Something that I didn't really ever think that I'd be using. That's right, determination and grace. Hey guys, Bald Ducks here, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're wondering about what's been going on with me for the last, I don't know, it's been like three weeks since I've made a video at this point, you're wondering why I shaved my head, wonder why everything else happened, make sure to go check over my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash bigducks. There are a couple VODs on there that you can watch that'll get you up to date on what's going on with me. However, what you're most likely here for is how do you stop dying in Scourge and everywhere else? Well, as it turns out, the defensive overhaul that GGG did ended up actually being pretty solid for a lot of characters, and the Determination and Grace auras ended up being insanely powerful. And with just a few things on the actual skill tree, you can reserve both of these auras pretty effectively for most builds in the game, and they are quite powerful, especially for characters on the right side of the tree when you do combine them. So the idea here is that this isn't going to give you any recovery layers, it's not going to make you heal faster, however it is going to make you take significantly less damage. If you don't know how evasion and armor works, we're going to have to jump in a path of build so I can kind of explain them to you a little bit because I think a lot of people get this wrong. So this path of building is just my seismic saboteur. I've got a bunch of videos up on the channel. You can go check those out. Um, the POBs are linked down in the description of those. This build is probably one of the better ones, this league that utilizes both of these auras. Now, I can't say that most other people ended up using both of these auras on top of everything else, but I figured out, well, if you do invest just a little bit into evasion and armor, it actually ends up being pretty powerful. Now this is mostly useful for characters that are on the right side of the tree because they get more access to evasion a little bit easier, especially for characters that can get access to blind in some manner. If your character can get access to blind and any of the evasion masteries, there's quite a few of them. Um, one that a lot of people miss is going to be this evasion mastery right here. A lot of people get over towards this one, maybe not the rest of them. You can also get pretty close to this evasion mastery if you're coming in to get these life nodes. Evasion and armor are two of the main base defensive systems, but they work significantly differently. So here in Path of Building, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the calculations here. First, I want to explain armor. There is one very, very important thing to know about armor. Armor is significantly weaker against very large hits. If you go down here to the bottom, you'll see that we have an effective health pool setting here, right? You'll notice that for fizz damage, the maximum hit taken is 9,790, and the effective health pool is 25,000. Now, something that a lot of people don't realize is that if you go into configuration here, you actually have to set the enemy hit damage to get effective readouts on how effective armor is. Because what I want to show you is if we remove this and go back into calculations, you'll notice that our maximum hit and effective hit pool have essentially almost doubled, right? This is a huge difference between what we saw before. So the idea is, is to be able to get an accurate reading, you actually have to put in the amount of damage that you think that you're going to be taking. So for example, if we put in 7,000 enemy hit damage, you'll see that our maximum hit taken is 8,200 and 25,000 effective health points. So what you can do here is you can keep typing in numbers until you get to one that shows you, okay, so we actually have a physical effective hit pool of being one shot of around 8,000 life. If you hadn't set this and you had just put it to, you know, nothing, you might have thought that, oh, wow, I can take 15,000 damage in a single hit. That's not actually true because the more damage that a physical hit causes you, the less effective armor is at dealing with it. So that's something that you do need to keep in mind. Now for evasion, previously the way that evasion and dodge worked very well together was that evasion was an entropy based system and dodge was a complete RNG based system. Now spell dodge does still exist in the game through the acrobatics keystone now. However, it looks to be that if you are able to get good amounts of physical damage reduction through armor, acrobatics is actually not that useful unless you can get a ton of it. So the way that evasion particularly works is that evasion 
Destruction is an entropy-based system, meaning that eventually you will get hit. So if you have 75% chance to evade, that means on average, you know, not including any other mechanics like elusive or block or anything like that, one out of every four hits will hit you, and it is typically going to be the fourth hit. So the way that it will go is that if you are being attacked with 75% evasion, you will evade, 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 and then that fourth hit will hit you unless you block it or you say have some level of elusive and you dodge it again like you can before and it will do all of those checks but this is the idea behind it and evasion as it gets higher and higher and higher becomes significantly more effective for example if you have 75 percent evasion you're getting hit by one out of every four attacks if you have 90 percent evasion you're getting hit by one out of every 10 attacks and keep in mind this is limited to attacks now you can have different ones for melee as well as projection but currently on this build we're at 79 percent chance which means that about one out of five attacks are going to be hitting us that is pretty solid honestly now the idea behind telling you how powerful these two auras are is i want you to look at this number so currently our chance to evade is 79 percent and we have let's see eight percent of our mana on reserve so if we go over into skills here we go over to our auras and we simply disable grace you'll see that it's only reserving 30 percent of our mana however it's giving us 11,800 evasion rating which is 20 percent chance to evade so the idea is we're down to 59 percent so previously we were only getting hit by one out of every five attacks and now we're getting hit by a little bit more more often than one out of every three. So this is a significant difference in defenses. And that is just simply with the Grace Aura on top of any other gear that we currently have. Most of our gear has some level of evasion or some level of armor on it is what we're going for. But that is only with a few evasion nodes on the tree, to be honest with you, as well as the blind here. Blind is actually really powerful right now, as well as these extra effective blind nodes. These are quite strong. Now, the key to actually surviving this is going to be more so in the armor. For this build in particular, what I want you to look at is that if we are, say, taking a hit of 8,000, right? That's what we could survive before. We can take an 8,000 hit, we have about 42 life left over. If we turn off Determination, let's take a look. So this is currently giving us, uh, it's currently reserving 36% of our mana. And when we go in here, we are down to 6.9 thousand. We've lost 1,100 effective health pool. There are quite a few bosses that will hit for roughly seven to seven and a half thousand in Path of Exile, and that's with no mods. So this is the difference between life or death. And you might be saying, but big deaths, these are 50% auras. How am I ever going to deal with these? Well, thankfully, most places around the tree, if you are on the right, the left, or the bottom there is a little bit up at the top they have ways that you can deal with reservation of auras now the main one is going to be getting an evasion mastery that gives you the grace modifier grace has 25 percent increased mana reservation efficiency you can see that this gives us an additional five percent unreserved mana and then on top of that we do have charisma on this build you can get the other ones that are similar to it but the main one is going to be reservation mastery 15 percent increased mana reservation efficiency of skills the reservation mastery that you can see here is in quite a few different locations like there's one over here there's going to be one down here towards Bannerman and a couple other places on the tree as well. Basically anywhere that there is a reservation node, such as like over here by Sovereignty. These reservation efficiency masteries are very, very powerful. Now Determination does have one of these as well, but the armor masteries are a little bit more secluded over on the left side of the tree and it's a bit harder to get to these, but if you can, the ability to have 25% increased mana reservation efficiency of Determination, also very powerful. And that is going to be it for the video. Now hopefully you know a little bit more about how armor and evasion work as well as how powerful grace and determination are now you can add them into quite a few different builds and i do suggest that you try to incorporate these on some of your builds especially if you're trying to get aura effectiveness like through the bannerman wheel and things like that Aura effectiveness is very very powerful right now so make sure that you don't sleep on it so remember boys if you're enjoying the content make sure that you like this video subscribe to the youtube channel for more content similar to this and stay safe out there in Rayclass. class and i'll see you guys in the next video